Man, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy, Big Will. We're back with another episode of Life After Prison. We got a story here. It's a young 12-year-old and I believe a 12-year-old boy and a 14-year-old girl. And these are what you call real ones. These are what some of you want to be gangsters. You really need to take lessons from these kids. But before we get into that, do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, huh? It costs you nothing. It's free and helps me out. But, um... I, I, I... The age of these two kids... 12 and 14... It, it's... It, it, it's incredible. It's just, it, 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 I can't fathom when I was 12 years old. Now, don't get me wrong. When I was 12 years old, I grew up in the, I grew up in the projects in the streets. So I seen and did a lot of shit, right? But you don't think of the average 12 year old kids, especially 14 year old boy and girl doing this. But let's listen. We're getting our first look at the 12-year-old boy who cops say opened fire at deputies along with a 14-year-old girl. Today he was in court, and considering his age, it's hard to fathom the charges he's facing. Many news outlets have decided to show his face, even though he's a minor, because of the seriousness of the incident Real. and the charges. Les Trump reports. Real one. He looks like he could be in the principal's office for some silly prank at school. But this 12-year-old is in huge trouble with the law. You're also charged with attempted first-degree murder of a law enforcement officer. Travis O'Brien and a 14-year-old girl are accused of opening fire on cops during a 30-minute shootout. Gunshot fired. Everybody get Again, listen to the ages. 12-year-old boy and 14-year-old girl. They were coming out to kill cops. The 12-year-old did not speak during today's hearing, right. at which the judge Thank referred to him much. as Mr. O'Brien. Uh, Thank you, Mr. O'Brien. Cops say the boy and the girl ran away from... Did you hear what he just said? Hey, Gunna. Did you hear what he said? The 12-year-old boy did not say a word. From a home for troubled youth. They broke into a house and found two shotguns, an AK-47, and a handgun. When cops arrived, the girl reportedly <laughs> said to the boy, I'm going to roll this down like GTA, referring to the violent video game Grand Theft Auto. Shows you their mentality. They want to go out like GTA. But... When the cops talk to him, they say nothing. Shooting out the rear window toward my direction. Deputies ducked for cover behind trees. They just busted out the window in the back. Stand by. Female has a shotgun in her hand. Stand by. Put the gun down now! She's got the AK and the shotgun. <laughs> She's wrapping around the top He's of her like, neck. Right. Then came the stunning Don't realization that they were being fired upon by okay. children. Nope. Hey, guys, hold mm -hmm. my hard cover. Let's not shoot the kids, man. Let's just, let's just hold on. Take our time. 10-4, they're shooting at me. She's re-racking around inside the shotgun. All right, let's not engage them anymore. Let's not challenge them. Just hold behind hard cover. We're just going to hang out here. You can hear one officer praying it doesn't end badly. Don't let me do this. Don't do this. Yeah, you know, cops don't want, they don't want to shoot a kid. As much as these kids are shooting at these cops, they're trying to kill them. They're immature. They don't know what's going on in their mind. They're acting out, they're acting as a video game. We're going to roll this down like GTA. Their mind's not there. They don't fully understand the, the, the consequences of what they're doing. 
You can hear the restraint of the deputies pleading not to have to use their guns. Cops say the girl, seen in this photo given to the news media by her father, was shot and wounded when she refused orders to drop the shotgun and opened fire from behind a parked car. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least ten bullet holes. 30 seconds later, young Travis O'Brien came out of the house with his hands raised. They shot through the bedroom window. They shot from the garage door. I mean, this is like Bonnie and Clyde. Now these juvenile Bonnie and Clyde desperados have to face the music. You're also charged with attempted first-degree murder of a law enforcement officer. So for you gangsters, you fake gangsters, you want to be gangsters, or you want to go out and you have a shootout, right? When you kids, you, you guys are out there having... You you gang members, okay? And again, when I say when I speak this, it's not all because there are some real gang members that'll go out and have a shootout with the cops and end their life, right? This is twelve year old kid. It's a fourteen year old girl who have a shootout with the cops for a half hour. Not gang members. Not gangsters. Two little suburban white kids that ran away from their, 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 their home. I guess they're in a foster home. But the moral is, listen, when the cops sit there and told that kid, and you're facing attempted murder, you know what he said? Nothing. Nothing. He didn't say, I don't want to go to jail. It was Young Thug that did everything. I don't want to go to jail. It was all the bloods. It's cost you six nine. You're included. Then he give names. They shot up with the cops and sat there. Your attempted murder. The kid just looked at him. Okay. Okay. You're lucky you didn't get hit. That's what they're thinking. They're not thinking like you, 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 you fake, fake gangsters out there that. Hey, let me just shoot at you, officer. Please. It was my gang leader that told me to do it. These guys ought to take a, 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 a page out of this kid's book. But on the other hand, I just can't, I can't, I can't see this little young White boy and girl breaking into a house after they run away from their foster home. From their, 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 I guess they were in a, I don't know, maybe ward of the state. I don't know. But they ran away. And what they do, they broke into a house. They found a shotgun, a pistol, and they came 47 and racked them suckers and let them loose. Saw that lady counting them bullet holes in that car? The little girl's a G. That's all I can say. The little guy's a G. That's all I can say. I give them a lot more respect than I give a lot of you. Gangsters. <laughs> Let me know what you all think in the comments below. See what this world's coming to? See what these video games and the music, it really gets in these kids' head. It really does. Right? They, they, they see this in... in Video games, video games, and they hear about it in songs, and they think, I'm going to go and have a shootout. And what do they do to have a shootout? When this girl said, I'm going to go out, they shot her. They wounded her just to end it. They didn't kill her. I respect the cops for not killing these two kids. Could have been much worse. Probably if they were black kids, cops would have killed them. They were two little black kids, boy and girl. Cops would have killed them. That I'm 99% positive, I'm sure of. Most of you all know. That's how the cops get down nowadays. But these kids, huh? Real ones. But let me know what you all think. Let me know what you think about these two kids, man. 
All right, it's unbelievable. It's your boy, Big Will. Life after prison TV. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.